Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and welcome to day 10, the last day of the 10 day paperclip challenge. So, today we're making a fidget spinner pendant out of paper clips and a spinning top. So, what you're going to need for this project are your tools. You're going to need some either memory wire cutters or some cutters. You don't mind if they get a little damaged. The paper clips are very hard. I'm going to use some regular size uh, silver paper clips and some colored paper clips. And then you'll need a round form as well. So as always, you're going to start by opening up the paper clip. You could do it by hand or I like to use my flat pliers and just open them up like this. Just go slowly with them so they don't get kinked or they don't snap and uh, just open it so it's straight all the way down. You can wiggle it around a little bit if you have to. And then what we want to do is make a round form. So I'm just going to take my pill bottle and just bring it around to form like a circle just like that. If you want to make a bigger pendant just use a larger paper clip or you could even use wire for this. You can use 20 or probably 18 gauge if you want to make a larger uh, pendant. So now we're going to just take this with the round pliers and close the end. Just close it around like that and then this one we want to do it the other way. So we're just going to take this and bend it up that way and then hook that in there. So if it's easier to hook and just leave it up at a right angle, hook it in and bend it closed. Now you might need your flat pliers just to close that up and you want to make sure that it's flush so there's nothing going to be scratchy there. And then from there, if you need to put it back on your round form to, you know, make it more round, or if you need to adjust it a little bit like that, you can do that as well. So if you do want to make a larger one, just get one of the larger paper clips and do the same thing where you open it up. So I have my other ones here. And then what I would do if you're doing a larger one, you can make a loop at the top. So you can actually take this and bend it maybe about an inch from the end ish. Doesn't you could do more or less bend it at a right angle and then take your round form and bend this all the way around like that. And this one, we want to make sure it's going to be, you know, all the way around round like that. And if it needs a little bit of fixing, you can. This, this one's like a little too big. So I'm just going to go with this and we're going to bend the end around here. So you can, you can just go ahead and start it with your round pliers. So just bring it around and then hook it in there. And then you can just keep closing it up. I'm just trying to get as large a circle out as this as I can, but I do want to twist it around a little bit more than one time just to make sure it's a little bit more uh, secure. So we're just going to bend this around. And like I said, you can use wire for this. It's fine. And then to do the loop at the top, um, it's going to be hard to twist it around much. So I'm just going to do a closed circle. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to get my large round pliers and bend this like back and then I'm just going to bend this in and this wire is so stiff you don't really have to twist it around it's going to hold its shape no problem at all you could put it right on a chain or if you want to put the loop going the other direction you could put it on a jump ring so here's our larger uh, circle. So you've got a couple of options. You can just go in and adjust it after if you have to like kind of pull it apart and round it off a little bit you can. So you can get a couple different sizes with the small and the large paper clip. Now what I want to do is make some springs that I can embellish our little uh, fidget necklace with and open up the colored paper clips. I'm going to just like flatten that out a little bit like that 
and what I want to do is twist it around a thicker piece of wire. So this one's about uh, 1.5 millimeter. Uh, you can use whatever wire you want, but try to use a wire a little bit bigger than what you're using um, for the for the project, just so it has a little bit more give to it. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, make our springs and then we're going to cut it into pieces and these are going to become like little beads and uh, you're going to see what we're going to do with them after so just twist it the best you can without hurting your fingers and go ahead and clip the ends careful they don't fly and just decide how big you want to make them so like if i'm going to just give it a clip every third uh, round i could just like decide where i want to do it and maybe every third round I'm going to just clip it so we're going to end up having a bunch of little uh, springs so we're just going to go like that and I'm going to make a whole bunch of those and if you need to if the end's sticking out a little too much just trim them a little bit more but just be careful because the ends fly so what you'll want to do is maybe just have like a little pot or something nearby and just clip them into the pot so they don't fly so once you have all the springs made, we're going to open up another paper clip. So we're just to open it up nice and straight. And we're going to do a silver one for this part. And then we're going to attach it to our uh, circle. And we're just going to take this one here and we want to attach it to one side. So you could leave it loose if you want it to be like really uh, loose and be able to move around and play with it or you can wind it around tightly. So if we're going to do a, a loose kind of attachment we're just going to do like a little loop here and stick it on one side. Just go on there, close it up so it's still quite loose and then we're going to put a few of our little uh, colored pieces on there. Now, if you want to use beads, uh, by all means, go ahead and use beads. Uh, it's not a problem at all. So say I want to just put a few uh, on there. If they're fall like coming apart, just close them up a little bit. It's fine. And I'm going to put like a little pink one on there to you. So you could do any kind of like design that you want so that's going to go on there and then we want to attach it to the other side so same thing we could go ahead and do it quite loosely on there so just take this and bring it around and you can just clip it near the end without clipping the round part and close it up so bring it here and just close it up finish it up with the flat ones and then we're going to do another one so there's one and then we can put another one we could do one over here if your paper clips a little wonky you can go ahead and straighten it up so we're going to take that one here this project is very open-ended you can have fun with it you can uh, you know attach these in any way that you want pinch that one up the idea is just to put three uh, wires on there with the little springs in any kind of configuration that you want so we're going to put this one we'll put a couple maybe we'll put two on this one so we're just going to put that one here and we're just going to attach it like over here to this side so same thing we're just going to take the end wind it around and close it up so we're going to close that one here and just close that just make sure it's closed around that wire and then we can put another one. I have another scrap of wire from a previous project, so I'm just going to use that. Bring this one around here, and I'll attach it over to this side. Just hook it on there, and then close up the loop so it's closed. And then I'm going to put a couple of uh, colors maybe that we haven't used yet on there. So we're going to do that one and that one. And then this one you can put in the middle of that one. If you want to bring it over to the other side, you can totally do that too. You could bring it over to the other, the other side. Whatever you think looks best. You know, it's just really um, 
you decide what kind of pattern you want. It's uh, not really that important. And maybe try to space them out a little bit. So I'm just gonna, that one's a little long, so I'll clip the end. And then we're just gonna close that one up. And then you have this little fidget pendant that you can play with. You can, when you're wearing it, you can move this around. You can play around with it. If you want to secure this one end in place, you can just open up this loop and make it a little bit bigger and then just stick that little end underneath there and then close up this link here. And then you can just close up that loop. That'll just catch that little end in there so it doesn't move around, so it keeps them uh, spaced out a little bit more. So this is just a fun kind of novelty thing. You can do whatever you want in, in, you know, sort of whatever formation that you want. You can just move these over to one side if you like, and it makes a funky little thing. So I decided to remove the wires from the smaller pendant and I put them on the larger one because I like having the loop at the top to put my uh, cord on there. So to make the top, we're just gonna take one of the paper clips that's been opened up and we're just going to bend this out at a right angle. It's at about a quarter inch. And then we just wanna form a kind of a circle. So just bend this at about half an inch here and then take a round form and just bend it around. So we're just going to take this and bend it around into a circle. And you can use a highlighter or a marker if you want as well. If you need to make it a little smaller, you can definitely use a smaller round form or you can just bring it in, start it with a round form and just bring it in because you want this part to be centered. So just keep bringing it in. If you have to adjust this a little bit more, you can round it out a bit. It's not a big deal. This doesn't have to be a perfect right angle. So just play around with it. It's going to depend on how big your wire is, on how much, you know, give you have, because you need to have like a little bit of a handle. So I'm just going to bring it in like that. Once you have a bit of a circle, you can start putting on your little springs. This is just to give it a little bit of a color. You can go ahead and put them on. If you want to do like a little rainbow formation, you can. So I do have all the colors of the rainbow here and we're going to do the purple and then the blue and then the green and just keep going uh, depending on how much room you have and uh, we'll see if we can get two sets on there and if not it's not a really big deal so we're gonna get that and then purple and some of my springs are smaller than the others but it's fine so we're gonna bring that one around and then the green one again so that looks pretty good uh, we could probably maybe put one more on there but maybe i'll just stick a I forgot the pink, so I'll just stick a pink one on there too. So we've got that. And then what we want to do is actually hold this tightly and bend it in towards the middle. Okay, so this is going to be bent in like that. And then at that point, if you need to adjust it, like bring it in a little bit, you can just bring that one in. And this one is, you want this to be sort of uh, holding in place. So let's just go ahead and give that a bit of a sharper bit of a sharper bend in there and if you find it's coming around the corner what you can do is actually uh, pinch that so I'm going to just open that up a bit I'll just pinch that in end a little bit to get it to hold in place if you're using beads and your beads have a small hole that's going to hold in place better so now we've come around to the middle part and now what I want to do is bend this one up so I actually could have made my circle a little bit bigger the thing is you want this part to be centered so this part is in the middle that part goes underneath and this is going to be like sort of our spinning top the yellow one too whatever springs are on the end you'll want to pinch in the ends so they don't go around that corner and if you're using beads uh, you shouldn't have that problem if they have small holes so this doesn't have to be that long you can always trim it a little bit say to about an inch long so there's the finished top and it actually spins 
so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos hit the notification bell to be notified when i go live and when i post new videos and if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and wire jewelry be sure to join the wire makers club on facebook i'll link it up below and if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you want to sign up below, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.